Naciones Unidas para la Educación, Le Corbusier dreamed of being a painter, but it was as an architect that he undeniably made his mark. From 1920 to 1960, he helped forge a new architectural language that broke with the past. This World Heritage listing honors not the man, but his outstanding contribution in response to the architectural and urban challenges that fed into the modern movement, which is still the foundation for much 21st century architectural thinking. It does not honor an exemplary achievement at a given moment, but an outstanding body of built and written proposals steadfastly disseminated around the world over half a century. The 17 influential works and sites comprising this transnational serial property are located in Germany, Argentina, Belgium, France, India, Japan, and Le Corbusier's country, Switzerland. In 1924, on a thin plot of land in Corsu on the shore of Lake Geneva, he built a house for his parents who could no longer afford to employ household staff. Built on a budget, the 64-square-meter building is an early expression of the minimalist needs that Le Corbusier would further refine in 1951 with his cabanon in Roque Brun Cap Martin. With its 11-meter-wide window, open plan and roof terrace, the Petite Villa au Bord du Léman prefigures that most iconic building of the modern movement, the Villa Savoy. In 1930, in Geneva, Le Corbusier set out to design an apartment building for the middle classes. His close collaboration with Edmond Warner, a locksmith and metal craftsman, resulted in a number of design innovations load-bearing metal pillars to free up the facades for windows to let in a maximum of natural light. The Clarté building. A demonstration of Le Corbusier's ability to rethink building methods to meet the social and human needs of modern man. It was in Marseille that his theory of a machine for living in was scaled up in a major housing project in the form of the Unité d'Habitation, the Radiant City. The 17 sites of the serial property are spread over three continents, reflecting the internationalization of Le Corbusier's architectural practices and his global influence. Considered as a whole, they illustrate four core characteristics of the modern movement. They sparked tremendous debate ushered in a new architectural language, revolutionized building techniques, and responded to the social and human needs of the modern era.